go do this. We're gonna just go check what's down here, because I don't really remember, and I could look in the video, but I'm trying to look for a spot where it might be. Eh. Let's just go check. Um, we really want to get that teleport staff, so we want to see if that island is secluded or not, because that's going to be fun to do right now. Um, and there's just a lot of stuff we got going on right now. I want to get more overcharge. I want to get more coffee. Um, it's really hard to um, choose what to do. So because we're relatively set up in Reign of Giants right now, what we do is we, uh, s we're we going to start resetting the shipwrecked world, which is going to reset the caves, which means every time we do that, we want to get three guardian horns. Um, and then in between resetting that, we'll probably, you know, set up a little bit more in Reign of Giants, just establish some things. We can never really get too set up because we can take all our items with us merely because we can just go back to, uh, we can put all our stuff in Reign of Giants. And when we want to start resetting the Reign of Giants world um, to get the perfect overworld that we want, we can just bring all our stuff to the shipwreck because we'll have the perfect shipwreck world at that point. We'll basically reset shipwrecked until we get the world we want, but every time we'll get Ancient Guardian Horns because that's one thing that's not renewable. Um, and there's nothing else we can really farm besides like Thulocyte. We might get some Thulocyte, but probably not much Thulocyte. for hunger. Um, we don't want to trigger these rabbits. He's right there. We have meaty stew on us, so that'll piss him off. There we go. Easy peasy. down here. I just want to make sure that I got all the pseudo saint stations. So I see none right here, but there's plenty of thulocyte, and there's plenty of stuff in here we probably didn't get. But we didn't really explore here, and there is honestly probably another biome. There might be a slurper biome, but there might be another biome that we want. So we're going to go that way and do the same thing we did originally. And we didn't explore because we had so much stuff to do early game that you want to get set up and things like that. So we probably didn't explore the f full sinkhole. So it's good that we came back, honestly. Otherwise, what we're going to just do is we're going to go um, make some stuff, make a couple crowns probably, because I like those, and we're also going to farm some Thulocyte. We won't really have to worry about Thulocyte being renewable at any point, um, or non-renewable, because of how much we could theoretically farm while we're resetting the worlds. Ancient Horns are going to be a lot better than Thulocyte at that point. If that makes sense, because we're going to be resetting the world so many times, we could honestly have like like 30 chests full of dual sight and that we'll never use that. So we're just gonna grab some occasionally and it'll be lit. that'll be it. We're not gonna like grab a ton. There's a bat bat in here. Is there anything in this chest? I don't think so. This is like a trap set piece. I don't know if there's anything in that lantern. That's a nice set piece to have because um, you can potentially um, burn down those those depth crawlers webs. Um, I can demonstrate that because I don't I might not have done that yet. And we don't have ice chester right now, but you gotta remember that we also um, 
have a chilling amulet, and that can cool us down a good amount every time. And we also have an endothermic fire for emergencies. That'll get us back to surface. So this is the Splamonkey one. And... Slurper pelts are good for us right now. And we can hammer this so you can see what's in it. Oh, no. Nope. This is why the Splow Monkey one's a little dangerous, because he'll do stuff like that. Anyway, I want to hammer it to show you, but I'm not going to, like, risk losing that. Um. We can still cool ourselves down a little after we lose the heat. We don't want to just constantly be doing this, so we're going to use about 5%. I don't have a temperature thing, but you can get a mod to display your temperature if you really wanted to. Um, I don't really do mods that aren't like in the base game like that, so. <laughs> Split monkeys are kind of difficult to kill, unless you have some sort of light search like on your head. For the reason that you don't want to drop your torch because they'll just take it. And you can't really fight in the dark very effectively against them because they run away from you. But we can grab bananas down here. And since we have shipwrecked linked worlds, we could actually use these um, to make banana pops. We need four slurper pelts for a hunger belt, and we'll... That's a good item for Wolfgang. It's maybe not a great item for us, but it's still cool to have. So if we can kill Slurpers down here, we'll, we'll definitely kill them. This is just, um, this biome prob doesn't have a pseudoscience station, but I'm exploring it. Because sometimes you get really, really weird cave configurations where you have, like, a biome. Like, you'll have, like, all your normal stuff, and there'll be, like, a biome, like, a small one right here and stuff. It's weird. It's good to be sure. Because with the cave bananas and stuff here, we know there isn't pseudoscience station in here. But you never know where one could be. We just want to make sure we explore the edges of the world. We don't really need to see what's in the middle. Then we can go to the last sinkhole that we haven't explored yet. Because we couldn't find the caves in that one. And then we can see if we can... Um, Make a tele teleport s stick there. The lazy explorer, whatever. Traveler or something. So this isn't going to be anything here. That's fine. We still got a little bit of space to go through. We don't really want to waste our time revealing all of it. Because like I said... There's not going to be much things in here. There's going to be these relics that you could break for stuff. Or you could use like rocks and stuff to repair. Which gives you sanity. But if we walk through here, there's not going to be much else in here. There isn't going to be like a random pseudoscience station or anything like that. There's just going to be cave bananas, splum monkey huts, and um, slurpers. If you really wanted to like clear this out to live down here or something, I would recommend getting some moggles and hammering all the split monkey hunts, then going and hunting them down and killing them. Or waiting for a nightmare cycle when they turn evil and then they'll just come to you and you kill them. He's gonna follow me and try and like get stuff. <laughs> if you
if you have bananas on you, they'll try and take the bananas from you, like that. They'll try and pull them from your inventory, and that's a really good way to kill them, if you have something like um, a hand bat or a cutlass supreme. Because otherwise, it's really hard to get them to come to you. You have to try and bait them with an item, which can be hit or miss. And this stuff is just stuff I can eat. I don't have a fire on me. That's fine. Alright, so we're just going to grab some Thulacite and then we're going to walk back through here. Um, I believe there might be a set piece where there can be random pseudoscience stations, but it's pretty uncommon probably. So what we'd normally want to do is we want to wait for a useful gem before we do this. I meant to hit the nightmare creature. Since he has a long attack animation, we usually want to bait his attack out and then go for the nightmare creature. He's like almost dead and that's why I'm doing this. There we go. Because I wanted to kill him. So when you're... When you're farming um, the ruins, you want to have a Nightmare Medallion on you. And that's because you really don't want to be fighting a shitload of Nightmare Creatures. And um, it tells you exactly what stage of the Nightmare Cycle you're in. If you're comfortable just reading it by like the glowing and like timing and stuff, then do that. But otherwise, you're going to want the Medallion. Because otherwise you're just going to be fighting Nightmare Creatures over and over again, right? So we're going to wear ourselves down a little bit. And we're also going to like um, get a bunch of these guys to follow us. We don't want any um, bishops. When they all disappear, that's the end of the nightmare cycle. And we'll go ahead and up our sanity a little with some of these gears that I have on me. And then we'll go nutso. Farming and stuff. We want to put these right there. Because we can double back to get them very easily. gears while we're down here too. So it's not a waste of time really for these reasons. Okay. These guys will die now eventually. That's what we want. Um, I'm going to ditch him. Those guys have a pretty long aggro range. And any nightmare fuel we get is great because we can get our magnaluminescence back when we do the other thing. So here we go. And we'll, um, we don't want to be going insane, so we'll just eat some of that. And that'll take care of that for a, a long while.
Uh, and if you were to log out and log in, these gems would change. So if there's a gem you don't want, you don't want purple, red, or um, purple or red or blue gems because you can get those from killing hounds. So those are technically very, very renewable from farming hounds. Um, and you can make purple gems from combining the other two. But since we're just kind of casually doing this and we don't really care about gems that much right now, we're not going to worry about it. We're just going to take whatever gem we get. But I could demonstrate. So that's like a blue gem. And when the nightmare cycle changes, the gems will change sometimes too. If there's no gem, uh, there never will be a gem. And you just get nightmare fuel. So just kill all those ones. So if you're farming, and since this is kind of educational, but also kind of just me playing the game, you want to go get all the gems you want. Not do this. Not just relog because you see a gem you don't want. You go get all the gems you want. And then you relog. Because if you do this every time, you'd be relogging all the time. Or if you get all the gems you want, like the yellow, orange, and green, and then you do this, then you just come back through and you see which gems have changed the ones you want, get those. So, like, I wouldn't get something like this. What the fuck? Those are... Fuck. These guys are left over from, um... When I uh, destroyed the pseudoscience station. They'll probably get tired and follow me eventually. So, like, we wouldn't get this red gem. I like how he became invincible, so I had to kill the guy on the other side of him. Like, that kind of stuff. Like, what do you do about that? What do you do about that? He just decides to peace out. So that's blue, so we don't get that. Um, inventory space reasons right now, we don't really want to just be getting gems that we don't need. See, they're all blue. So, like, you just pass by them. We, I do actually really want, like, a yellow gem. I can't do anything right now because this stupid spool monkey will take my lantern. Here's a yellow one. We'd really want this yellow one, actually. So... We take that. And we're gonna go over here and we're gonna mine this yellow one. We need a yellow one for the thing we're gonna make. Oh, we don't need that. Everything else is good. Now we peace out. This Spelunky probably like took a bunch of leftover stuff too. I don't, I don't want him to follow me. I just want this guy to follow me. There we go. That's still an aggro range. Nope. Almost. There we go. Fucking spool monkeys, dude. It's risky to do this, because then I have to take my torch out. I got some stuff from him. I figured he'd be hoarding stuff, so... Anyway... 
I don't really need these manure. I want to get close enough to piss him off. But not him. And so we're just getting gears. When the nightmare cycle ends, we can leave. Let me show you this. Let's find a web that's not near other webs. fast enough to get this guy. Because I want to be hitting him like here. Mm. See? It's really hard to do with out light. Because he moves so sporadically. After these long charges, you get him. So Nightmare Cycle's full force. Let's go up to try and get this web before any Nightmare creatures come. I just want to demonstrate this real quick. Because if you're ever going to base in the ruins, which I might someday, you want to be able to do this. Ah, oh, fuck. So if you place something, if you zoom in on the map and you're standing right on where the symbol is and you place something on the web and you set it on fire, the fire will spread to their, their nest. Because their nest is up there. It's like on the ceiling. Because they're coming down from the ceiling. But it's just an invisible entity. Because things there's no ceiling in this game. So it has no collision. But it can still catch on fire. Well we got a yellow gem. So that's good. And some green gems. We'll use that to make stuff. We'll make um, an amulet. And then we'll just... Just take a detour through here and see if there's anything cool. Like a cool set piece or something. So this has been a little slow going. Because I didn't find coffee when I looked for like ever. And I didn't find a bunch of other stuff. And it's just can't really plan for that kind of stuff and it's with the let's play series I don't want to like stop the let's play series because I can't find a ton of stuff this late into it you know what I mean so it kind of sucks that like um, I had that I was looking through that caves forever and didn't find the exit and then we had this where like there was no suicide station there but I had to check because it wasn't fully explored there's not really much you can do, is what I'm saying. This guy's gonna get pissed at me, but those guys are distracting him. Now we just basically go straight to the next sinkhole. We're going to stop at our base, obviously. So we can cool down a little. It'd be good to get blue gems for Ice Chester. Because we want Ice Chester. But you can't re you can't take Chester with you when you're resetting. But it'll be we'll probably end up getting Snow Chester eventually. 
So any blue gems we get go towards that. We'll have a shitload of blue gems after we reset this world, so we can just make him whenever we find him again. Moggles is a really good idea for what we got on us right now. You moggles in a log chest, and then you go very bare minimum, and you're not going to pick up all this extra stuff that I don't need. And that way we can wear our, our chilled amulet while walking. So this should be about the end. That's the other sinkhole we went in. Oh no, that. I'm gonna check real quick. Actually, I'll just check on my way back. I, I know it's which one it is. I don't really need to check. What do I have on me? I don't think I have what it takes to kill the dragonfly with what I have on me. I have that much armor too. Thanks. I could potentially neutral mob him. I'm just looking for something I can use to stick him. close enough to do it. But we'll see. I would really appreciate it if mobs would stop getting in my way. There we go. Um, do I have... I want armor for this fight. Alright, let's, let's do a switch. Ah, fuck. Ah, I needed to do that. I didn't buff the fire up beforehand. That sucks. I don't want to use all my gears. Fuck you, dude. I hate it when pigs come by and fuck the whole thing up. Oh my god.
Alright, he doesn't have that much health left. This fucking pig, dude. find a road so I can kite him. But it's dark out. He... Alright. The fire is going to go out and I didn't do anything about it, so that's really my fault. I'll be able to kill him in the morning, probably. I've done a ton of damage to him. I haven't done this a whole lot, so I'm not very good at it. But I can probably do it, I think. He's, you have to use a road and a walking cane to like fully kite him like this. Oh my god, how much life does he have? Oh my god. I feel like he should be dead. That's not the right weapon. Okay. GG. No re. I don't know how he's still alive. Like, I've hit him like 25 times with this. He should, probably should be dead, I think. But let's get him to fight a bunch of other things. Where's he going? I don't want to hit him because if I hit him, he's going to gonna like immediately hit me and it's gonna hurt I don't have anything to make like armor with besides this so let's fuck him come on seriously I want to kill him. Why don't the bees try and attack him? Get a bunch of killer bees out here. He'll win that fight easily, but... On bees. You want to be pissed at him. There we go.
Does he heal when he does this? It'd be nice to know how much life he has. I know when he does 20, he goes to sleep. He snorts 20 ashes. Well, this is a huge waste of time because there's no way I'm going to kill him. Because the bees just aren't doing it. There we go. Jesus, that took forever. Well worth it. So, things don't always go as we planned, but had I had more sword and kept my fire up, I really could have just, like, um, taken him on there. If you use a... F I'm pretty sure if you use an endothermic fire pit for that, um, he'll actually fuel the pit by doing a slam. I don't think that actually works for, um, not pits, like the, the endothermic fire, so. So, n uh, what I would have wanted to do is, like, buff it up uh, hardcore before he comes. And then having, like, something like a hand bat or, like, a full sword would really really help or playing like wolfgang or something or being overcharged so i can i can kite easier you do like two hits and then you dodge his thing and then you bait his attack and then you do two hits it's weird i guess he does that slam like after every attack basically but that didn't go too badly i used all my gears but i really wanted this because that allows me to farm a krampus sack So that was the entire goal of that whole thing, was just to get this. Because it's so far out, if we didn't get this, that would be bad. And I could farm it with Glomer, but this is my preferred method of farming it, is with this method. Three pig skin. I have three pig skin. I have a lot of pig skin somewhere. like a chest for Thulesite stuff, or is that just in Chester? I think it's just in Chester, right? Yeah. Build amulets, you can't fuel them, but it'd be fucking awesome if you could fuel them with that. Like, you could magnaluminescence. I think that'd be a really cool change to the game. Do I have more lanterns? Or do I just have the one? It'd be great if I had more. But I need sticks for that. 
You don't have a lot. I don't have a lot of resources because I don't really spend a lot of time like basing and stuff. So, oh well. Don't have enough sticks to make lanterns, I guess. And this should be good for this year. I mean, it's pretty much useless right now because I've used almost all of it. Um, and I want to also put this away. I don't know why this is in here. Anyway, next next episode I'm going to farm a Krampus sack, I think. So, stay tuned for that episode. Alright.